Detective Gibbon on scene. What's up everyone, my name is Nick and today I've got a story to tell you. So a few days ago my wallet got stolen. Yep, my wallet got stolen and I did everything. I went to so many places. I did everything to find a thief. I obtained CCTV footage. I visited multiple government offices. I went to multiple banks and I even made three Yes, three police reports. Eventually, I personally found the thief by doing some citizen detective uh, work. Now, if you're interested in this story, make sure to keep watching. If you're not interested, that's all right. I wish you a very nice day anyways. Now, before we get this video really started, can I ask you to please click that like button and perhaps leave a comment along the way as you're watching this video. Now. Let's get this story started. This is the story about how someone stole my wallet, used my bank cards, and how I found him. Let's go. This is Global Given. So let's start on day one of this uh, adventurous story. So we had just finished the 10-day Mooncake Festival where we were selling drinks and food and we were just basically having a great time here on Carpenter Street. And it was the Saturday, the last day of the Mooncake Festival, so it was all finished, we were done, and I went to one of the bistros here to, you know, celebrate that we were done after 10 days of working really hard. So I had a drink or two and it was all good time. At one point I went home. When I got home, I realized that I did not have my wallet. So I was stressed out because it had my driving license, it had my debit cards. Um, so immediately I took out almost all the money from my bank accounts. I left a hundred ringgit inside. I don't know exactly why I did it, but it was probably to see if anyone would maybe use my debit card. Got that done. The next morning, well, uh, let me sit down for that to uh, tell you what happened the next morning. So of course, before going to sleep, I asked my friend who was sitting with us at that bar to look around and he and another friend, they were looking around to see if I maybe had dropped my wallet there. So the next morning I woke up, it was a Sunday and I was stressed out. Um, I checked my bank account, nothing had happened yet. So I was like, okay, maybe I did lose it. So I went to see my friend who drove me home. I checked his car, I walked back to this bistro where I was. I walked around trying to look for my wallet. Maybe I dropped it. I walked to my uh, workshop to see maybe, I don't know, did I lose it there? Which didn't make sense because I remember using it um, about 30 minutes before I went home. Now, okay, then the day went past and I was trying to figure out, okay, how am I gonna get a new driving license? How am I gonna get new cards? Right, that was for the next day, the Monday. Late night on Sunday, I checked my bank account again and yes, someone had been using my debit card, which, in a way was kind of a relief because that meant I didn't lose my wallet and I basically didn't have to look for it anymore because someone had obviously stolen it. So it was Monday, two and a half days after my wallet got stolen, which I just realized that indeed it was stolen and I did not lose it. So I contacted my friend who is the manager of the bistro there to see if he had any CCTV footage. Unfortunately, he said the Wi-Fi didn't work, so he probably could not retrieve any CCTV footage. Never mind. I went to the police station and I made a police report. Now, I did know that my wallet was stolen. However, the police said it's better if you just do a lost wallet first, a lost wallet report. There, With that, you can get a new driving license, get new bank, bank cards and, and whatever. So I did that. Very nice people at the police station at Padungan here. Then I went to the JPJ, which is the local transport authority here, to get a new driving license. And somehow I had Milo with me, so maybe because of that, the clerk asked me to come in right away, even though there were like 40 people waiting in front of me. So that was nice, got that done. I was shocked that I got a new driving license and right away an international license as well. Then I went to the bank, two banks, because I have two bank accounts here. One settled, the other one settled. So it was a pretty good day Monday and then I had some time left over and I was alone again. I dropped Milo off with his grandma and then I thought, why don't I check out the place that this person has used my debit cards? Because I could see on my bank statement where the locations were where my debit card was used. So Detective Gibbon <laughs> went to site. So yes, Detective Gibbon was about to start working. So my card had been used t four times. So one was 7-Eleven at Satok and another one was a place called Red Papa also at Satok and they're actually just next to each other. So it's obvious that this person wanted to use my card to buy things. So I went to 7-Eleven and I asked for the manager 
who wasn't there, so I tried to get the CCTV footage. Um, couldn't get it right away. Same thing at the other mini mart. I had to talk with the manager and unfortunately they couldn't give me any details. This is when I started posting on Facebook that someone had stolen my wallet, which was a fun saga as well. It became like a little soap opera. Every day I would post another update and uh, it was really nice to see all these comments. Some were a bit mean, but it's all good. Yeah, it was a busy day because I had to go to all these different places. I think I went to 10 different places to get all my details and things and bank accounts sorted out, but it was all right. So Monday night I went to sleep. Okay, and then Tuesday came. So I went back to the workshop, I had some work to do, and all of a sudden I got a message from the manager at 7-Eleven that they found the receipts of the transfer that uh, this person uh, had done with my card. And she messaged me, she said, look, this person that used your card, they wanted to buy gift cards first, so then I realized, okay, this is not just a person that, you know, maybe for fun or in a drunk thing, drunk move, uses my card. Uh, no, this person literally wanted to buy two gift cards, I believe worth up to 100 or 200 ringgit, at 2.30 in the morning. Now, who buys gift cards at 2.30 in the morning? Right, this was actually right after uh, this person had stolen my wallet. So, then I got the CCTV footage, which I was shocked to receive, but very nice, thank you, to the manager at 7-Eleven. And there this person was. It was, a, it was a guy. Yeah, I didn't recognize him, so I was like, okay, well, I can share this to my friends and maybe find out who this person is. Then I was sending a message back saying thank you to the manager, and right at that moment, my friend at the bistro, the manager, he texted me and he said, Nick, do you know the guy in the white shirt? And I just watched the CCTV footage of a guy in a white shirt at 7-Eleven using my debit card. And then my friend at the bistro, he sent me the CCTV footage as well. So now I had two CCTV footages of the same guy. One was him using my debit card, it's a he. And the other one was him taking the wallet off my stool where I was sitting. This person had just sat next to us on the table, uh, maybe for five seconds and, and that's when I left. And you could see that 10 seconds after I walked away, this person reached over to my, my stool, the stool that I was sitting on, and he grabbed my wallet. So it was the guy sitting right next to me at the bistro that had 10 seconds. He, he, he could have ran after me. He could have told my other friend who was still sitting at the table that he took my wallet, he found my wallet, and he could have returned it, which he didn't. He went to 7-Eleven to buy gift cards. Whew, it's getting hot. It's an exciting story to tell. All right, so then I started messaging my friends and the friend that was sitting there at uh, the table with us. Um, he also didn't recognize or know him, but he knew his friend. So it was very easy to find out this person's name, his phone number, and after some digging, we even found an old profile page with his parents' name, his family names, everything, old pictures of this person. And uh, I was so excited, I was like, wow, within two days, I've got two CCTV footages and I've got the name and the phone number of this person. So I was super excited and then I went back to the police station. All right, so I'm back at the police station, super excited because I've got CCTV footage, I've got pictures of him, I've got receipts that he used, I've got my bank statement literally says what time my card was used at which location. So I had it all. So I made another police report, which this time was a stolen wallet and stolen money. So I was referred to the sergeant major who I had to speak to and he was in charge of my investigation. Wednesday I went to go and see the sergeant major at the headquarters of the police here and yeah we had a good chat i gave him all the details all the receipts all the cctv footage and actually if an hour before that i also got some cctv footage from the other mini mart and i basically handed them the whole investigation already with the phone number of this person with the name of this person and uh yeah it was really fun to play detective so i've decided not to share any details about this person just to let you know i don't know him i, I don't think i've ever met him Kuching is such a small place and basically my advice is to never do any crime in Kuching because it's too easy to you know find out who you are and especially with cctv now and everyone kind of knows each other um so it's never a really good idea to steal things or do any crimes here in Kuching.
Right, so as a conclusion, I must say I did have a lot of fun playing detective and going to these different places, sorting these things out, knowing that if you really are determined to get something done, you can. If you put the energy and the time in it, it's okay. And I was super excited that I found this person within two days of this person stealing my wallet and using my debit cards. And okay, you might say, Nick, you should not have left uh, your money on your debit card. You should have blocked it right away. Well, I took out all my money. I just left a hundred ringgit in there. Um, yeah, and maybe indirectly thinking that maybe if someone would have stolen that, I could actually trace him, which I did. The sergeant major's got all the details of this person now. He's opened the case. His last words to me was, were, Nick, we're gonna find him and we're gonna bring him to court. And I smiled, it was, it was just nice to know. Definitely a lot of things to do this week. In a few days we're flying off to Europe. Me, the wife, and our lovely son Milo finally get to see my parents again and my brother and his family who I haven't even seen in four years. So it's good times. Now, this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, leave a like. Leave a comment, let me know your thoughts, and if you have any questions, of course, throw them in the comments. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna get ready today, pack my bag, pack my suitcase, get ready for a 25-hour flight to Europe. We're flying into Barcelona. We're super excited. All right, see you guys next week on another continent. Bye-bye.